Hey crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I have a design team share, um, a new um, shop, well new to me, shop uh, wanted to uh, work with me. Um, they liked my work and some projects they had seen on my Instagram. And so they had me pick out um, some dyes that I thought I would like to work with. Um, this store is called Navigator Coulee. I will have them linked in the description box. They are a shop on AliExpress, kind of like a KS Craft and KLJ UIP and others like that. So uh, I wanted to jump in and get started. First, though, thank you to Navigator Coulee Store for giving me the opportunity to work with you and for sending me these awesome dies. I cannot wait to get started playing with them. Um, so I did get a little ahead of myself. I've already taken them all out of the plastic. Um, and let's see, like, they came attached like this. So I took two or two or three apart before I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Stop Kayla. Gotta do a video. All right. So this one is, I've already, yeah, put these on there and some of the small pockets that I have and on a magnetic sheet. So this one makes a little, um, what do you call it? Voodoo doll. Um, I'm going to play around with it a couple of different ways, but you get all these pieces and you build them, um, on here to make your little like voodoo doll type thing. And, oh, I wanted to share with you guys right quick. When I started taking these apart, I thought, whoa, um, how am I going to know what's what? I'm going to lose these tiny pieces. So this is what I've done. I stuck the die just in my scanner, just like just in my scanner and scanned it. Um, those got cut off on the top a little bit. But what I've done is, see, this is this one when it was together. Um, so I just labeled, you know, A, B, C, D, E, labeled all the pieces and I had already done this once and messed up, so I gotta copy the information here, but I'm gonna take my list of my A, B, C, D, you know, all my letters down here, and then write a short description of what piece is what. Um, so for this one, I already know that these are the leg layers. These are the arms. Um, these two pieces here are the ends of the hands and arms, and that's your pin. Um, these are like your stitches and this Half moon one is like half of his face. And I'm also going to, if I can, um, stick in a little photo up in the corner so you guys can see uh, what these look like put together. Um, and then you will know what you are looking at because <laughs> I know it's kind of confusing when you see all these just random pieces like this. Um, so you don't really know what you're looking at at first. So yeah, um, I've done this with all of the sets, like I said. Um, see these two are done. This is this one. It actually makes this cute little girl um, wearing a witch hat and a little dress and her boots and she's got a little like a pumpkin um, kind of like a pumpkin uh, carrier like a Halloween next to her with a buddy popping out of it. It's really cute. Um, it can be like a Halloween dark colors. It'll be really pretty for pastels. Um, I mean, you, you don't even have to use the hats, the witch hat, or the pumpkins, um, and they could also work for other holidays, um, not just Halloween. So yeah, I scanned it, and as you can see here, I wrote down some, a description of what all the pieces were, like her hands, because just looking at this, um, you wouldn't know right off. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to cut these down. Um, I print just regular copy paper. I'm going to cut these down. Um, and they're gonna fit right in the back of these little envelopes I'm putting them in. So yeah, like I said, she is a little girl. Um, she has, that's her witch hat. She's got boots and a dress and bows and the bunny in the bucket. So yeah, I will try to pop in a small photo up here in one of the corners for you guys to see an example um, from their website. Okay, so that was the first two and okay so this next set you know what i didn't even 
I should have like measured and like so you guys could see what's what and know how big or little these are. I won't measure all the pieces, um, but like, okay, so this little guy here, um, let's go with his head. His head is right at two inches wide and his whole body from top to bottom is like four and one eighth of an inch. And then the girl here, I can't really measure her until I put her together, but her hair and her hat would be the widest parts. So this is her hair and it is one and three eighths of an inch wide. And then when she has her hat on, that is, oh, right at two inches, just a hair under two inches wide. So maybe that can give you a little idea there. Okay, and then these are little Halloween balloons. You get a little, like a scary face here, a happy face, more of the triangle shaped happy face. Um, you get a skeleton face. This one you get a, like bats flying in the sky. This one's like a piece of candy, like a mint, and then this one is stars. And let's see. I think that one is a layering piece but you get all your little streamers here or you can add your own like ribbon yep so let's measure i'm gonna measure just one of the little pumpkin faces oh oh yeah i need a different ruler for this all right so it's like one and one eighth of an inch wide and then one and a quarter inch long and that's without the streamers and the streamers are one and three fourths of an inch long so super cute cannot wait to play with that and then the next one ooh, sorry are these cute little candles they look like little melted um dripping candles with flames on the top so the little example picture should be over here somewhere. So yeah, this one, uh, I'm going to measure this first one over here. One, and I'm sorry, two and seven eighths of an inch. And then this one over here is the widest one, uh, right at one and a quarter. So there's the little candles. And then the next set is this one i did think it was going to be a little bit bigger um but that's okay i'm pretty sure my idea i had in mind is still going to work out just fine so this makes uh, little cupcakes so this is your, the bottom of your cupcake uh this is the top part you get um let's see that one and that one are the, like decorative pieces and then you get like sprinkles and then they are to make um, Halloween cupcakes. Um, so you get a tombstone with skull and crossbones that can, the smaller one can go there, the bigger one can go here, a large one there, um, a little kitty, and it's just to make some cute little um, cupcake embellishments. So that's going to be really fun to play with. And like one of the others, um, you can always use this for different holidays. It's um, more than one use type of dye, which is my favorite because more uses, you know, way better. <laughs> so you could use the cupcake and then other things in your collection without making it Halloween themed. And then, yeah, so there's another use. All right. And then the next one is... this little um, pumpkin carriage the the little sample picture should be over here somewhere so it's like um maybe, maybe like in cinderella is all i can think of to describe it the pumpkin carriage um it's got the drapes here for the entrance that's the big pumpkin um this is the big stem sticking off and it's got wheels um this one will be a little hard to measure right now so i'll have to wait until it's put together and show you guys that way and moving on, I got this little bee themed one. It's got the little uh, beehives over here around the edge, or well, half of it actually, and then some flowers going around. And then it's got these little um, honeycomb shapes that go out here, the hive shapes, um, 
hive or honeycomb. Either way, you know what I mean. Uh, and then another little bee over here. And this one, I can measure three and three fourths of an inch by two and seven eighths of an inch. So yeah. And most of these are uh, paper piecing type dies, and I love them. I love the little tedious things. I love the tiny pieces. I love to fussy cut. So yeah. And this one is okay. This one um. There's two that are similar. Okay, so if you can see here, this one's a swan. And this looks like the swan in the picture, but it could be just a duck. To me, it looks like a dark colored swan. Um, even though it does look different from this one, I will show you both of these samples above. Um, the one over here will be for the dark colored one. The one over here will be for the swan. All right, so back to the first one, you get your duck slash swan, whatever it's going to be, layering piece for the head, flowers, and then you get the leaves, plants. There's a layering piece for the body as well. That's the little eggs in its little basket, stems, and little other little layering pieces to decorate your little scene. And this is about two and a half inches wide. I'm measuring um, the, the little critter here about two inches tall. So that one, um, it's going to be really pretty for like the front of a card or an ATC or something like that. And then back to the one that is a swan. <coughs> Excuse me. So this one, um, <coughs> sorry, kind of the same way you get you know, your uh, grass and leaves and vines and all your little pieces. And then you've got like, it's um, the bill, the eyepiece and all that for the layering, some flowers and the swan here is, oh goodness, two and five eighths of an inch wide. And about right at yeah two inches tall not counting you know all the other stuff that'll be around it and behind it so yeah i'm really excited to play with those i'm excited to play with all of them <laughs> so anyway moving on to the next one this is um they are pumpkins stacked up in front of a gate picture should be over here somewhere. <laughs> I'll have to get used to that when I'm doing these kind of dies. So this is the fence and then you'll have your pumpkins stacked up on top of each other and then you're like wheats and vines and leaves around it. There's a little owl sitting on top that wears a witch hat and this one that really has to be put together but I can tell you for the fence it is two and a half inches wide and, oh, that's hard to see. One and one eighth of an inch tall. So it's gonna make, when st the pumpkins are stacked up, it's gonna make a cute little embellishment or card front. I cannot wait to play with that. And I love all these little pieces. And then last but not least, um, I picked a Christmas one. This is so stinking cute. Look at the little example picture. So it's a little boy kind of leaned over kissing a reindeer on his nose. It is super adorable. There's the antlers for the reindeer. That's the boy's body, hat, face. Little layering pieces for his outfit, his hand. Yeah, that's going to be so stinking cute. The reindeer is two and a half inches wide by two and three eighths tall. Of course, he'll be taller when he gets his antlers and the boy standing there. So yeah, that is going to be super cute to play with. So yeah, I think that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this one right here. Um, I did start taking him apart 
to put on this sheet. That's when I stopped myself to make this video. So, um, it's got lots of little pieces too. Um, so it's, it's kind of got going to kind of go together like this. If you can see that, like a little, another type of voodoo doll, a little pudgy body and a fat head. And then he has lots of little stick pins sticking out of him. And that will be your stick pins. This is his eye for his layering piece. Layering piece for his eye, sorry. <laughs> and then his stitches for his smile and his eye and everywhere else. And then, I see that's another layering piece for the eye. Yeah. And I think he's got like a little tussle of hair right up here at the top. And then you got some more layering pieces. That's for your pen heads. A little heart. Yeah. So, yeah. There's that little guy. Cannot wait to put them all together. So, yeah. That is it for this video. Um, they have lots of other really cute dies as well. But I will have all the links for these dies in the description box for you to go check out if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions... Or comments please leave them below and yeah i'll catch you guys on the next video bye bye